Hey everybody, quick YouTube video. Don't forget to check out my candy haul. My first candy haul ever this Saturday as I go and start collecting the goodies for my trip to Slovakia. I'm super excited about that, man. I've never been. Uh, this will be my fourth country in three years that I'm traveling to. Um, it's just, it's wow, man. I can't believe I'm going. It's like, you know, I, I had this conversation with someone once and I told them, what's the best part about traveling? To me, and this is going to really sound weird, I love, because I live about three hours away from the airport that I normally fly out of. I'm excited about moving closer because that's a long drive. So when I move at the end of the year, I'll be about two hours away from the, from the airport. But this, this airport that I fly out of in Virginia, it's about three hours away from where I am now. And I love that drive there. It's a very peaceful drive. I stop and I get coffee and I go across the beautiful bridges and look at the ocean and I listen to like sports radio or my BPM music and I'll be dancing and all that good stuff. And I get there and I love parking my car at this hotel um, where they had the parking and I park at this hotel and I love taking the shuttle. This is the best part about flying to me. People don't understand. It's like that. It's the it's the, the pre-flight. You know what I mean? The idea of getting taking that drive there. I love the three, the three hour trip. And then I love, um, you know, parking my car and having my luggage and getting on the shuttle van that takes you from the hotel to the actual airport. I love it's It's about a 10 minute walk from where you um, enter to get on the train and, and get to the terminal. I love that journey. Um, I'm a people watcher, to be honest. I love being in an airport and watching people just where they're going, where they're coming from. And that's always been exciting to me. And, you know, it's one thing to take a local flight or stateside. But when you're going international, it's amazing. Like, this is my fourth time going it's in three years. So it's like, man, um, being able to watch people and, and watch how they move and, and how they carry their luggage and how they're, you know, talking to different people. Yeah, I'm going here. We're visiting family here. It's just an amazing experience to, to be a part of. And I love that, that you can go to these shops and buy snacks and buy shirts and kind of sit down and look at the window as planes land and planes take off. That to me is like one of the most exciting parts about flying internationally. Um, boarding is always kind of crazy because you always got those people that don't have the right information or lost their boarding pass or don't want to check their bags. And that goes on. Um, getting on the plane and waiting to take off is kind of weird because you're kind of sitting and you're trying to get past the suspense of taking off. Um, that's sort of the roughest part of the flight is that that actual climb into the clouds. Uh, once you're up there, you're fine. But that climb is always like weird, especially if you're depending on which direction, if you're flying into the wind or out. But I love um, that that pre-flight part of flying. Now, flying, I'm not a big fan of um you know, itself, but, you know, because of, I love this passion for travel, um, you know, that's how you got to get there. You know what I'm saying? I love road trips too, but you got to kind of get there through flights. So, um, one of the, the best flights I've ever had, um, was, um, the first flight to, um, no, the, it wasn't the first flight to London. It was the second flight to uh, Liverpool, England. Um, when I went a year or so ago, because it was during COVID and the plane was completely empty, man. It was like nobody on it because of COVID. And I had like, I was sitting in the middle and all these seats in front of me and in back of me were just empty. I mean, I was able to take a serious nap. I was able to lay down like ka-ching. I had my feet down one end and my head down the other end. And it's, it was just amazing to do that. Like, it was like, wow, like, that was one of the few. Now, on the way back, it wasn't like that because you had a lot of people coming back from, like, vacation from over in Europe. But when I went there, I was there, I had that whole plane to myself. It was only, like, probably, like, 100 people on this plane that fit, like, three or 400 people. And the, and the food on a plane is absolutely delicious. I don't mean, like, the snacks, but if you ever travel internationally... They have some really good food when you travel overseas. And it's always included in your plane ticket, so it's really cool. Um... I, I love that part. So um, being able to travel internationally and looking out the window, especially if you're on a flight that flies below the clouds, which is rare, um, then you're able to kind of see different landscapes. You're able to see things. But most of the time they're flying above the clouds. So you can't see like the oceans. You can't see these things um, versus like a local flight. You can. So I love that. And I love landing at these airports. 
these airports in different countries where you see, again, different people, you're people watching, you're picking up the different dialects and languages. And I love that. Uh, one of my favorite things, I flew into um, Copenhagen uh, a couple years ago. And I flew into Copenhagen and I'm there and I'm looking for the bathroom. And it didn't say bathroom. It was like lavatory or lavatory or something like that. And I kind of put it together like, okay, they mean lavatory. And the bathroom was really nice, but it was small. Like it was like four toilets and like a stall, but it was really clean and everything. But it was like this. I was like, okay, you only fitting four people in there. But I was the only one in there, so I was cool. But um, I, I love, I love the travel, man. I'm super excited about this flight to Slovakia. Um, I'm excited about the food. I'm excited about meeting my my new family and you know my future in-laws and just spending you know such quality time with with uh you know uh, my fiance and just being able to really just relax for a week and being able to just enjoy good food and, and good people um we just have so much fun together and we have so many adventures planned of travel and we're like a bunch of big kids you know we love to just do fun things and i just love to, to be able to do things like that. It was a dream come true for me to be able to do things like that. So I'm excited about this trip, man. It's, it's amazing. Um, I, I'm excited about this candy haul to share with everybody that's coming up this Saturday. Um, we're going to shop for a whole bunch of candy uh, to pack in everything. So I'll show you guys that. And it's going to be really cool. Um, the candy's not for me. I'm training for a marathon, so um, I, it's not mine. It wasn't me. I don't had nothing to do with that. It, it's not my fault. I'm just saying, like, I'm just saying. So if you see some candy, it's, it wasn't me. It was Benny. So I'm super excited, man. So I can't wait to share that with everyone. Um, also, you know, um, the vlogs that will be going on, I'll be doing a lot of vlogs from, from the airport and, uh, there, um, I'll be flying into, um, I believe Austria or something like that. I got to check it and flying into there and, you know, transferring flights to so many different things we'll be doing. And I'm just super excited about having an opportunity to travel once again. Um, and just super excited about what the future holds with travel. Um, now things are getting so expensive. You got to buy your tickets like way out, but I'm super excited. I always thought about the place that I wanted to travel most. And at first it was England, but I've been to England twice and I love it there. But I think my, my, the tr part, uh, I want to travel to Australia. Like I really want to go there and I really want to go to Japan. Um, I've always wanted to go to Japan. I've always wanted to go there, but, um, I'm going, I don't know if it's going to be like within the next two years, uh, but we will definitely be going to Japan and Australia and, and some other countries. I mean, I, I want to go to France and I want to go to Italy and, in Germany and in and, and Spain and all these different countries there, um, which, you know, is kind of cool because it's on the way to Slovakia. So when we go there, uh, we can do like a stopover for like a few days, three or four days and check out these different countries. Um, Switzerland is one of my favorite countries that I'm thinking about going to um, next year or, or whenever we go. Um, this is going to be a tough year for travel for everyone because the cost of living is just going up so high. Um, but yeah, we got it done. We were able to get this trip in. Um, that's why you work hard. This is what you work for. You know, you work hard to be able to, to live a little bit, you know, you got to budget money and savings. Speaking of that, I forgot to drop the savings challenge video. So I'll be doing that this weekend for next week, which is cool anyway, cause it's right on track. I just forgot to do it. So stay tuned for that. So everybody have a blessed night or morning. It's about 12 AM here. Going to get some rest. Peace.